Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back with one more exciting application. Have you ever wondered just how much time we spend on our machines working in our code editors? Be it Visual Studio, VS Code, Android Studio, X Studio, IntelliJ, Sublime Editor, or Atom Editor, any editor. It's a definitely a lot, right? So the curiosity of how we could build at least 5 to 10% of such powerful applications led to an exciting project introducing Triple CE, a collaborative cloud code editor, which is a web-based editor where we can collaborate in real time with other members of our team. Isn't it exciting? Right away, let's jump on to the preview of this application. This is the preview of our application, the landing page with a brief description of, our, of what our application does and we have a button which says go to app. Clicking on this, we're going to sign up to this application and help us land onto the dashboard page, the main section of our project. So once I click on this uh, go to app, I'm going to sign in with my Google account. Let me select one of my accounts. I have selected uh, one account to log into. So this is going to help me land onto this dashboard page. This is the dashboard page, the sidebar and the list of the projects that we have created so far and uh, the options to search globally for all the projects we have created. Let me show you how project creation looks like. Now let's try creating a new project here. As soon as we click on this new project, we'll be provided with a model with the options for the templates that we can choose from. As of now, we'll be supporting the React and Node templates and uh, uh, then we can go ahead and create the name of our project. So we can toggle between the things and this is not supported. So if I just select uh, this React template and create uh, this, uh, I'm going to give this project name as this react one and we can toggle the visibility of our project either to public or private i'm going to keep this uh, to as a default value the public one once we click on uh, this new project it's going to help us set the code based editor for our react uh, template and it's going to provide us the default files that are needed for us to get started with the, our react applications as well so this is the default application uh, code files that we got index.html package.json source folder and white config and all uh, things so if i open this uh, app.jsx so this is the content of our app.jsx file and we have on the right side so the uh, the center section is the code editor section where we can edit the content of our files and uh, here this is the file and folder structure where we'll have a tree based view for all the files that we have as part of this application i'm going to come back uh, to this part where we can create a new file new folder and also move this uh, full uh, files and folders location in between this uh, tree structure and uh, here on the right side we have this uh, preview and the terminal section as of now you can see there are no terminals open if I just uh, toggle this, we'll be seeing this uh, preview section where it doesn't have anything as of now. That's why we are seeing this, uh, uh, the, the connection was reset. If I click on this, we will be seeing this uh, terminal open for us and we can resize this based upon our needs, whether we want a more space for our uh, terminal uh, preview section or for code editor. And uh, if uh, first thing, if we try to run this uh, project uh, now, we uh, will be thrown an error saying that a white not found so the dependencies needed for our applications are not installed so first we need to install and then we should go ahead with running this project we then will be able to see the output in our above preview section let me first install the dependencies of this project with the command that we normally install for our, all our node based uh, uh, applications npm install and wait for the dependencies to get installed for this project so the uh, dependencies are installing and installed and now we can go ahead and run this npm run dev command so once we run this you can see uh, this has started on this uh, 5173 
import and if I just click on this refresh we should be able to see the output uh, preview in this uh, preview window so if I open this app.jsx that's the content that we have here which is this uh, react starter code and uh, edit app.jsx to get started so if I start making the changes here we should be able to see the live changes in our preview mode so if I just say that uh, I am editing here and uh, try uh, refreshing this okay I need to save the content of this file and then you can see uh, the changes that we made uh, is reflecting in the right side I'm editing so the changes that we are making in any of the code files that we have we can immediately see that uh, the changes in our preview window and this is where the terminal we can install this uh, or other modules needed for our application and we can play with whatever the dependencies needed to build an uh, exciting application using our web based editor and now the interesting thing is we can create a new file so i'll uh, show you this we can even rename the we'll see this uh, model where we can update the name of this project along the uh, visibility of this project we can toggle the visibility from public to private and uh, update this uh, uh, virtual box so if i wanted to change this one uh, to our react app one as the name of this project and if i update uh, this project we are seeing this toast at the top left uh, bottom left section with the virtual box updated and if I just close this we should be able to see this updated project name for this so that's how we can update the name and visibility of this project using this uh, feature and we can create new file as well as new folder into our tree structure so if I just wanted to create this new file so let me uh, create in here this uh, new file test.tsx and uh, if I just press enter then we got this file created. Same way I can create a new folder. So if I say I wanted to create a new folder for components I can just have this uh, uh, folder created. Likewise we can delete whatever we have just created either be it the file or the folder and if i wanted to delete this file we can delete that so this is the uh, adding adding the file or folder at the same time deleting the file as well as the folder if i wanted to move this test one dot uh, into the source folder i can just click on this and drag into this uh, source folder and we should be able to see this so you can see now this test for uh, one is moved into this uh, uh, source uh, folder likewise we can uh, delete uh, the uh, files and also now if you wanted to delete this one we can just go ahead and click on this delete and this file will be deleted same thing applies to folders and all those things so that's the creation and deletion of files and folders respectively and we can rename uh, the project and uh, this is the uh, section where we will see how many people are present as part of this uh, of this application live collaboration I'm going to come back to that the exciting part of our uh, application is this enabling copilot while we are trying to edit the code so let's say I wanted to uh, here I'm here and I wanted the code generation uh, assistance here for me if I uh, enable this copilot and come here press this control Z and we'll be provided with this prompt where we can generate a code with a simple prompt let me show you one example I need a text with hello inside p tag so if I click on this generate a code for this I got this code that I wanted and I, either I can accept this or regenerate this if I accept whatever uh, the cursor position that we have in our editor we'll be pasting that code here or else you want more better code you can just click on regenerate and we are going to generate more code for that so if I'm just going to accept for this and uh, uh, save this part and see this uh, in action you can see hello is reflecting in the preview window for application I, I can maximize this okay so that's the copilot thing either we can uh, disable this so if I disable and if I try to press ctrl G I will not see any 
helper section where I can generate code with the prompt and if I enable this one back and press this control G we are provided with this so that's the uh, the code assistance uh, help in our code editor the AI co-pilot assistance in our editor and where we can uh, create as many files as we want and we can see the live changes preview in our preview window and we have the multiple terminals options and the logic handle for that the main section here now apart from this co-pilot is this uh, sharing ability so let's say we wanted to collaborate and uh, edit the content in our section we can share this to other users and uh, work together uh, in the same code uh, editor and i have this account uh, created so let's say i wanted to share this project with this uh, user uh, i have two accounts created i'm going to share this one to this account so let me just share this so once i provide this uh, email to this we can see the post here this uh, notebook is successfully shared to this user and this is what we have and i am going to open that uh, in the uh, different uh, uh, editor and see that how the uh, edit of the other user is immediately reflecting in this at the same time uh, the ref uh, the changes that's being made by this user being reflected in the other user I am going to open the one more uh, so let me minimize this part and bring on this another application and I'm going to log on with this the other account to which I just shared this is the account and we'll see this in the live action so we can just put this uh, to the left side and uh, this one to be present at the uh, right part and now I'll walk you through the uh, sidebar features as well so this is the sidebar so this is these are the projects that the particular uh, user has created meaning uh, owner of this projects uh, will be residing in this my projects and here we can see uh, the shared with me section uh, which user has shared uh, the project to this user all will be visible here so now this react app uh, we just shared this to this user so let's try to open this so i am opening this uh, project with this uh, account and we are already uh, inside this application with this uh, account so we are opening and uh, we have this so if i uh, just open this so you can see now the reflection here this user kv has come on to this editor and we can see the live uh, reflection which users are present in this uh, code uh, editor and now we are in this uh, preview section if i start uh, editing here other user is editing and uh, save this and uh, you can see uh, this other user is editing is reflecting here in the preview of this account so that's the thing and also we can see the, uh, the cursor live cursor of the user so the cursor of this user is this blue color reflecting this and uh, uh, if I just press here uh, we can see the changes so that's the thing uh, that i wanted to show the live collaboration and the changes that we can see uh, reflecting in each other's window and uh, collaboratively edit this that's the share functionality and we can have the same thing here the preview section like we just saw there and i can just collapse uh, this one so if i want i can just collapse in this way and that's the share functionality and uh, uh, tree structure for our files and a co, a co pilot enabled for this and going back we can search for the projects and uh, we have this uh, shared with me uh, section where we can see have a look at the projects that are shared with us and all other things so this is the thing that i wanted to talk about uh, in this application and this is what we'll be building in this application super excited to uh, see how we can accomplish such uh, uh, complex web-based editors with the ai copilot enabled at the same time the uh, share with me uh, live collaboration and see the changes being reflected in the others preview window and also the the code file of other section so this is the application that we'll be building hope you guys are excited and i think uh, this will be super exciting application stay tuned for more exciting updates on this project please do share like and subscribe to this channel if you think i am providing a valuable content at you and uh, uh,
assisting you becoming better version of yourself thank you so much